Hey Uplifters, welcome. Uh. <laughs> hey Uplifters, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the post notification bell to be notified every time I blow. I know, I know, it's been a minute. But um, I just need like a little mental break, just, you know, life, you know, personal stuff. So, you know, I've been gone for like a week or so. So um, just because we just all need that. Well, I know I need mental breaks often. So like, that's why I haven't been posting. But so I just, you know, thought that I would just um, bring you guys a video about some, it's something inspirational, um, of course. For all the believers, um, I have a scripture, a little sermon. Um, I think it was from like last Sunday that really like touched home for me. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the scripture is Matthew 19 verses 23 through 26. So I'll read that and then I'll share the title and then um, some little key points. So let's get to the scripture. Then Jesus says to his disciples, truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. So the title, he made it possible. I that The title just like, of course, instantly like hit me because without, God and Jesus like you know a lot of things wouldn't be possible but he makes the impossible possible so um God created something out of nothing um virgin gave birth to, to the son of God man died and three days later he raised from the dead nothing impossible for God um my God is able I know that he's able because of all the things that I've been through in life and what he has brought me through and um, whatever you're calling impossible is possible through God like if you're sick and you think that you can get well um he'll turn the situation around if you allow him if you trust and believe in him if you have faith in him um everything we desire isn't what God desires for us like we might think we, we might have our whole life planned out and and it's not what he wants for us um it's not, nothing to I feel like everything that happens is for a reason and maybe god sees something like more for us or something better you know so that's why i feel like sometimes our desires are not what if it's not what god desires of course he's gonna he's gonna work it out he's gonna fix it and he's gonna lead us to where we need to be um there's no prayer he can't answer like it could be like something small it could be something big like i could pray for something like you know, please, Lord Jesus, let me get this job. And I might think, I might hear back from the job like weeks later, but I got the job. You know, that's like an example. Um, that has happened to me. Like when I think, okay, well, this job is not calling me back, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna just look for something else. I'm gonna just keep on searching. And I get that phone call, like, congratulations, you got the job. And I know that It'd be something small, like I said. It could be something really major, like um, healing a family member, healing you. Like, God is able, and he's always working. He's always moving, and it's so amazing. Um, there's no problem God can't solve. Sickness, sadness, troubles, etc. Um, God never made a promise he couldn't keep. If God is your God, he will calm your storm, and he will move your mountains. Um... Like I said, I've been in plenty of situations and I know people that have been in many situations and it's like they're going through so much and it seems like it will never get better. And he, in a blink of an eye, he turns it around like, dang, you was just going through this and now you're doing better. And it's like, it's amazing. Like, I just like, I'm smiling and like, and I'm happy because like, I know that he's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's, he's my rock he's my my everything like life happens like family gets sick you get sick or things happen with family or friend whoever you lose a job you lose a house you lose your 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 finances go crazy and 
it could be so many things that can happen to you that's wrong and like and that you feel like you can never bounce back from and he finds a way like of course like not finds but he'll put people places and things in your in in your path to, to fix whatever it is that you're going through that's why like, i i always like even if i go through something or if i know somebody's going through something i just like i have to take a step back and i'm like god you have <sighs> fixed me or my situation so many times or you didn't whatever the situation is like you I've been through this and you brought me through it and my family or whatever the case is like I know that he will do it in his time and we have to trust his timing and we have to have faith and it might seem it might take like I've, I've said in previous videos it might take a long time for God to answer your prayers but you have to be patient and when you ask God, like, Lord, can you, like, just give me patience. He will give you patience sometimes by making you wait for things. Um, give me strength. He will bring something in your path maybe just to, to give you strength. I mean, it could be you could get sick, like cancer or, like, anything, anything. He could, when you ask for strength... He will strengthen you by by a situation that you think you can't bounce back from. And then next thing you know, like, everything's okay and you're fine. Your family's fine. And that's how he gives you strength. Like, when you ask God for something, you have to be prepared for what is to come. It, can, it might be some, a tragedy that you think you can never bounce back from. You might lose somebody. And you might think that you can't, you, you can't live... Like, I don't know how I'm doing this or whatever the case is. And he'll, of course, he'll fix it. I've been a witness to that. I've had testimonies. Like, I don't, of course, I don't share all of my my life stories. But just look back over your life. And if you're a believer and you know that you've been through hard times and you're you're better now like your situation is better it's it's no more situation like it's no more trial like, it, you're fine but i feel like trials and tribulations and storms come in our lives to to make us better to strengthen us to give us patience to make us or make us realize that god is god alone and he is the answer to all of our prayers and we have to turn things over to him and once we turn things over to him, then that's it. Um, and sometimes he has to empty our cup. We have to empty our cup so we can fill it up again. Meaning, we all the things that we go through in our daily daily lives or like whatever the case is, we have to just like take it out. Like I leave everything to you, God. I I, I leave it here at your foot, and I just. I'm just gonna walk away because I know that you're gonna fix it all. And piece by piece, little by little, he's gonna fill your cup back up and you're gonna be fine again. I feel like life is nothing but lessons and trials and tribulations to make us better to what God wants us to be and where he wants us to be. And that's just, that's just life. Like, like I said, for the believers. Um, I don't know. I just know that God is amazing. Like I, I say this all the time because I know that He is. I listen to people's testimonies. I have testimonies of my own, and I just, I just, if I know that I can't call on nobody else but God, I know that I can't, I can't get through life without God. Cause I know how it was when, yeah, I would pray, but I didn't have a relationship with God. But once I turned my life over and I, and I had, I started building a relationship with him, like, I left all my burdens. Like, I leave all my burdens with him. It's hard to do because as humans, we don't know how to let go everything. It's just natural that we just, like, worry. We stress about, about life because we're, we're human. We can't help it. But if you ask God for strength, he'll give you strength. Like... I just like a situation just came to mind. Um, and I just, this is like when I actually just started like really, really like 
just leaving things there. Like I said, and I think I shared this story, maybe, but I'll share it again. Um, my aunt, like she, I'm not gonna say, like she, she's my aunt. Like um, I was really close to her, and she was sick for a long time, like in out the hospital, like for years. And um, of course, like as a human, you are scared to, um, you're scared for your loved one to to like be sick or to like be on their deathbed pretty much um and of course like you pray you're like god please don't take my um my loved one away like my my situation my own away please just heal her lord um and <laughs> the last time that she got sick um she was on life support um yeah she was on life support and all that stuff and of course, like I was in my twenties, my early, my early twenties. Um, well, this was back in 2016, and um, I try not to get emotional, but um, I seen her land there, and I mean, of course, I wanted her to get better, but at the same time, I had to. Uh, you have not, you can't be at me personally. I, I couldn't be selfish about the situation because I knew that she was sick and I knew that she was going through it. So I prayed, and the, the prayer, like, of course, it released it, like all of my anxieties and all my stresses. And I prayed a simple prayer it's like, God, let your will be done. If you see fit for her to get, for her to get better, it will be done. If you see the fit that she, her time here on earth is it, done and you take her, that's fine too. And I just trust you and I believe in you and I have faith in you and I know that whatever you, whatever you decide, whatever is to come, I, I trust you and I believe in you and I know that you don't make any mistakes. It's not along those lines. And once I say that, it's like a weight was lifted off my chest and like maybe a uh, few days maybe a few weeks later um i lost my aunt and of course it hurt it hurt so bad like so deep but god gave me strength like and that and that's what he will do when we lose people that we love and we lose if we like lose whatever god will make it better like no of course it's not going to be easy no, of course you're not going to forget about the person that you've lost but with him, he makes things easier. Um, yeah, I I, just, I can't stop smiling because I know that God is, he's able. He makes the impossible possible. He can tell our mountains to move. He's he's just amazing. He's wonderful. But um, that's, yeah, that's, that's all. Like, I don't want to keep on, like, rambling on and on. But, like, I have a lot of videos, like, inspirational videos um about of course god and jesus and stuff like that um sermons like from church um so i'll probably the whole playlist in my description if you guys want to check those videos out or even the cards or whatever so um yeah thanks for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe